okay guys welcome to my channel i'll be showing you how i did this wedding design that you're seeing here so first of all i downloaded the flower from pinterest then after that i i went on by blurring out the flower let me delete something So I'm just trying my best so that I won't cut this video. Okay, now this is what you do. I've downloaded my listing already. So just go to Chrome. Then just go to Chrome. Then you tap um, blur image. Like a blur image. Then I tap on the first link that you will see okay this is what you see okay this is uh, i was working on something i was working on something actually so let me use another let me use another another link so you can use pim tools so now you tap choose your file that's this is how to blow image online that's what i'm about showing you guys then you choose the you choose the image that you want to blow that's the flower I'll just show you how i blow the flower you see then you come to you come you come here tap on that cycle you put the amount the kind of the degree that you want the image to be blood then you tap on blow then i like to load for a while are you seeing it has blood then what you do now is to download it PMG we've downloaded our image let me show you guys are you seeing so but don't worry I'll put link to get the one that I have already blood like the one that I did I'll put link to it for you to get it from my from, from my drive so now let me just import the image then we'll start our work from here import the main design Okay, this is actually the main design. Sorry, let me import it as our background. Just watch this video and do where to share with your friends because I believe this video will be helpful. At least it will change your it will change your graphic um, listing system. It's at least it will drag it to another level. So this is okay. Look at the size we are using. Yeah, when look at the size we are using, we are using. 10 to the 3 for the width and 1280 for the hot height then uh, let me import the main design again so that I won't so that I won't do anything outside the scope okay now this is the main design let me hide it now our first step now is to bring our blood image the one with blood online watch just just watch carefully now the image will blood online. That's our that's our first step. Are you seeing? Then what you do now? You drag it. You drop it here. You lock it. You duplicate it. You also drop it. Join the two together like this. Uh -huh. Then tap here. This is this is now. If you want to carry two items together without merging them this is what this is how you do you tap on this side tap here tap here okay then now go and import your couples as in the image you're using for your design go and import them our latest bride in town okay i'm coming let me look for the folder where i kept those image look for the folder okay it's not here let me just look for the folder okay look at where they are then what you do now you crop at the parts that you need crop it out crop it out crop it out then now you come in and you increase it then you drop it and as well as you the size a little based on what you want then you what you centralize it you lock it again So now what you do now is you go to your shape 
Now watch carefully because this is the let me say a little bit technical part of this design. This stage now, this stage that I am. Now go on gradient, tap on gradient, tap on your plus. Now this is what you see actually. Then this side now, this side, make this side to be what pure white. Now this side, make it to be pure white. Then this other side, make it to be transparent. Then this side now, let me change the color so that you see what I'm doing. <laughs> I believe you see. Then this side now, bring it in a little bit. Then you come in and choose the layer. Choose the layer that you want to work with. So I'm working with this layer. Then bring this out a little bit. Bring this side a little bit also. We are good to go. This is how to blend image. How to blend. Ah, this is what I can actually blend your image on Pixel Lab. I see. Place it like this. Then now what you do now to just come to your color. You change the color to pure white. You see, you're gone. You lock. Are you seeing? Now, so let's check our our main design. Okay, okay, we are we are getting there. We are getting there. Now, for the name, you just enter the name. Now, the name is Mike here. You know, I love using the name of my channel in terms of this so i'll be using trendy at least those that knows me knows me where well. when it comes to this trendy trendy wood dots i'll be using trendy wood now also look at how we align these two words together just take a look at how we align them then now what you do now just come here drag them then now choose a perfect font that will suit what you are doing but for the sake of this tutorial i'll be using this font then what you do now you come go to your go to your paddle go to your paddle paddle at your text now go to your edits okay everything is okay then what you do now go to your go to your line space then you align at line it now see the difference see what i'll just observe the text the text is coming down so now this is this is where you will use and align your shape this now is for alignment you align it very well the way you need it are you getting me then you will centralize it now it's not centralized it's not centralized so what you do now you use your hand now to arrange it very well for it to be sent um centralized then go to color let me show you how to pick a color in case you want to use it for another design also then use this stuff this thing now use it now just place on the color that you want to pick place it on it you see it has indicated then you're good to go are you seeing the way you do now you lock it then I enter your shapes. Tap here. Tap on your cycle. Then reduce the size from here. Don't re reduce the size from here. Okay, let me increase the size a little bit. That one is too small. Enter tap here again. Reduce the size from here. Then choose that same image that you picked. Then bring it down. Take it upwards, then position it very well. Let me just drop it on the edge. Then go to your stroke, stroke that cycle, stroke it to be two, so that it to be shown. Are you seeing? So that it will be what it will be shown. What you're doing will be to be shown. Then let me check what we've not done. Okay. Then I enter your shapes. 
tap on that place select your ship then i here come to your opacity yeah now this is your opacity now take it to zero your stroke now stroke it to be two then reduce the size from here Just come here, duplicate it, reduce the size also from here. Then you centralize it. Then you carry the both of them at once. Then take it, drop it anywhere you want to drop it. Anywhere, anywhere you want to drop. Okay, the size, the size is too big. Let me reduce the size. Okay, we've got seen what we wanted then now uh, take it down take it to the position that you want to drop it take it then i'll be just be showing you the techniques on how to achieve small things that seems difficult here then concerning the text now that is inside the cycle this is what you do let me just use any text for the sake of this tutorial now let's just assume this is our right up. Are you getting me? You paddle it first, paddle this side also. Then what you do now go to your now go to your size. Reduce the size. Then go to your curve. Curve it like this. Then you bring it here. If it doesn't size, then what you do now you come here again. To reduce the size just keep on keep on reducing the size until everything will blend are you seeing that everything has blended then what you do now you copy it you duplicate it then go to the curve again now take this side now to that same 100 then you drop it also now this this one now what you do now is you also reduce the size then go to your Rotate, rotate it so that it will fit in. okay there we go then inside now you put your dates then what you do now go to your gallery if you observe on that picture you see now this is a ring i downloaded now i blurred the ring with that same um, format that I showed you guys earlier in this video, then just drop the ring in here, then reduce the opacity, just reduce it a little bit. You lock it. Let's bring this side up a little. Let's see the one that we've not done. Okay. And then now, this is what you do. You bring in the main ring again. This is the main ring. This one I did not blow this one. This one is okay. Then you drop it here. Then import your flower.
import your flower the one you did not blow i'll be uploading the two the blood one and the original one, but without background drop it here then come here come to opacity reduce the opacity to 80 reduce it to 18 now i'm just creating these structures for you so that but if you're doing your own calm down and do it arrange it very well so i'm just trying to create this structure like show you the key key things inside then come to this opacity make it um increase the opacity to be normal then just hide it like hide the edge a little bit i think let it be as if what is just showing is just only the edge of the flower let's see what we've not done again okay then now go to the blood um, um flower the blood fl uh, flower that we imported first time this is it now what you do now is you now if you leave this place white if you leave this place now white it won't be good this place if you leave it like this now it won't be good it will be it will look empty so what you do now is you rotate this blood flower then you drop it here just observe what i'm doing then take it down just take it downwards lock it then come here reduce the opacity to 40 okay if it's showing much maybe you don't like the way it's showing you can take it to 25 okay 25 is okay now let me let me see what the one that we've not done also okay we've achieved everything that we did here so here now is where you write your save the dates your write up the inside this place now is where you write your the date of the wedding then here is where you write the address of your wedding or the wedding so please kindly subscribe if this is your first time of coming to my channel and thank you for watching see you guys in my next video